everyone, this is Valerie in here. I'm entering the Monarch Garden, as I call it. And if you watch my videos, you will know why I call this area the Monarch Garden. Now, there is something I want to share with you today that you'll never do the same thing that I did and end up in the same spot. See that building? It's been built being built by my hubby and my son it's taking some time because it's a big build it's supposed to be a greenhouse she shed and i did all my flooring they're all i let me give you a peek i stained them all a very dark gray color i covered them up because it was raining earlier but that's it so that's gonna go on the inside downstairs and also in the loft area. Anyway, let's get back to what I'm gonna share with you. So we've lived here now for six years, since 2015. And this, we live on an acre out in the countryside of Hastings, Ontario. And this area was chock full of milkweed and other shrubs, small trees. And our neighbor was so nice. He came over with his tractor and he helped us to clear this area. And my bigger son and my husband, especially my husband, worked very hard to dig out some roots that were deep down in the earth. And so... Everything that you see here, it was just this summer that it was started, okay? So what happened is I wanted to get some seeds from offline. So I have a shop on Etsy and I like when my... Um, I get customers supporting my shop on Etsy. It's called Shop Frugal Finds, S-H-O-P-P-E, Frugal Finds. And so because I like when people support my shop on Etsy, customers, I do try to support the sellers and on Etsy also. So that's where I got my seeds from. But guess what I did? I did not make the time to write up all my name tags which i was planning to do all the name tags on some pieces of wood so i could stake them wherever i planted the different crops but i did not make the time to do that i stuck the little envelopes that the seeds came out of in the area where i planted each thing and guess what most of them when I went back to see what I planted there, they were, check this out, they were blank. There's nothing here. So right now, I know this is snap peas, which is doing very well, by the way. And I don't know the variety because I did not make the time to stake the name so never ever ever do like I did and end up in the same place make sure whenever you plant your your seeds your grains whatever you have the name at the same time so you can identify what you have planted okay never put them out because what happened I think in this instance is the rain actually just washed everything off the little envelope and they're in other places too and I'm not quite sure what I planted in some areas. I, I know what it is but the variety I'm not quite sure of. So I could go back to my orders. Maybe I'd be able to figure them out. But uh, the summer is almost done. I'm not going to worry about that. I just know that I've learned my lesson well. And I hope by watching you have learned something today and you don't make the same mistake that I've made. Okay, so until next time, thanks so much for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Please hit the notification button so you can be notified of new videos when I share 
about the update on the greenhouse next time or I also plan to do an update on the different crops that I planted in this monarch garden. You take care now and be blessed.